Tesla develops a revolutionary new battery. Tesla vehicles prices to drop drastically. In a recent announcement, Tesla announced that it would start mass production of 4680 battery cells at Gigafactory Texas very soon and ramp up to volume production by the end of the year. But how would that help people? It would help Tesla's price come down. Yes, you heard that right. Stay tuned to know more about it. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hit the like and for more such Tesla related news, subscribe to our channel. And also don't forget to press the bell icon. Having said that, let's get started. Tesla plans to start using 4680 style battery cells next year, which will cut battery production costs in half. And with Gigafactory Berlin, Tesla will be able to reduce logistics costs by localizing operations in Europe. So fewer cars will need to be shipped from American and Chinese factories to Europe. It's especially impressive considering Tesla already pays less for its battery packs than any other automaker. And battery packs are one of the most expensive parts of an electric car. And toward the end of the year, Musk says Tesla could produce 2 million vehicles. And he reiterated his aim of 20 million by the end of the decade. And in order to make that happen, Tesla plans to build 10 to 12 million gigafactories in the coming years. However, Tesla hasn't talked much about its 4680 battery cell, which enabled the new structural battery pack design. It's a concern for Tesla investors, since Tesla's future vehicle programs depend on the new battery technology. As the automaker started making Model Ys at Gigafactory Berlin with the old architecture with 2170 cells, and as it expanded production at Gigafactory Texas with 4680 cells, the concerns got bigger. Also at Austin, it's now making Model Ys with the old architecture. But the catch is, everything pointed to Tesla having major production issues with the bigger and better cells. Additionally, in Tesla's conference call with analysts and shareholders for Q2 2022 financial results, the 4680 cell was a big topic. The automaker said it's having trouble figuring out production processes for new technologies in the cell, like dry electrodes. Although Tesla wouldn't confirm how many cells it is producing now, it did confirm that it's still not enough to build 1,000 cars a week, which would put annual production capacity at less than 4 gigawatt hours. But it's on track to hit that well before the end of the year. It's good news, though, that Tesla will officially start producing 4680 cells at Gigafactory Texas this quarter, says Tesla's senior vice president, powertrain and energy engineering, Drew Baglino. Drew Baglino then added, more manufacturing lines were integrated and more content was insourced. Because of this, Texas and Berlin have ramp challenges. Specific to Texas last quarter, cell experiment was fully installed and commissioned and we produced our first commissioning car sets of cells through the end of the line. Our target for Texas is to begin production this quarter and aim for Texas to be capable of exceeding Carto weekly output before the end of this year. Here, Carto refers to Tesla's current pilot production factory for the 4680 cell on the Carto Road in Fremont, California. The fact that Tesla plans to produce 4680 cells at Gigafactory Texas by the end of the year is particularly impressive, since Tesla also announced that Carto production has increased 35% each month since March. As Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin are advancing into higher volume production lines, Tesla always intended to learn from the pilot plant. And as far as financial performance is concerned, Tesla is on fire. Over the past year, strong demand and unmatched efficiency have driven growth. That has been truly impressive. The company's trailing 12-month revenue rose 60% to $67.2 billion, and its free cash flow jumped 165% to $6.9 billion. However, those figures only represent a small fraction of what the company could be. Musk noted during the shareholder event that Tesla is equal parts software and hardware company, reflecting his belief that full self-driving FSD software will eventually be the biggest source of profitability for the auto industry. That's why Tesla has an edge in FSDs, since its vehicles are equipped with autopilot hardware. The company has captured more than 35 million miles of data about autonomous driving. It's more than any automaker, and AI depends on high-quality data. That's why Tesla plans to make a robo-taxi in 2024 and eventually start an autonomous ride-hailing service. That could change everything. Robo-taxis would probably generate a lot of recurring revenue and high margins. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and for the latest updates, press the bell icon. We'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.